Hello and welcome to this video on explicitly listing combinations. Now in another video we look how we can use multiplication to work out the total number of combinations of doing certain things. But sometimes I actually want you to list out all the possibilities explicitly. So let's take this example here. I have two choices for a starter, fish represented by F or salad. For the main course I have a choice of pork, chicken or nut roast. List all the combinations of starter and main course, e.g. Uh, F and P would mean that you have fish for starter and pork for main course. Now the best way to do this is to fix one of the things in the first choice. So in the starter, let's say that we fix our choice of starter to fish and then we consider all the possibilities of the other things. So we could have fish and pork, fish and chicken, fish and nut roast. So if we fix the fish, we've got fish and pork, FP, which we already have an example. We could have fish and chicken and you could have fish and nut roast. So you can see I'm trying to get this in a kind of systematic order rather than just kind of listing them randomly. And then, well, what's the other choice of starter? I could have salad for starter. So we fix the salad as a starter and then we consider all the different possible choices of main course. So it could be with pork, say salad and pork, or it could have been salad and chicken, or it can be salad and nut roast. And you can see we've got a really nice order to our possibilities here. So we've listed all the possible combinations of starter, choice, and main course. And we can see there were six possible combinations. In another video, we can see how we could get that total count, the six, by just doing the number of possibilities for starter, i.e. multiplied by the number of choices for the main course, i.e. three, and two times three would indeed give you six. What about the second one? I throw a coin three times. List all possible sequence of throws. Now I'm going to fix the first throw as heads and then consider all the possibilities for the second and third throw. So if it started with heads, I could have had heads and heads. Or, starting with heads again, I could have then had heads and tails. Or I could have had tails and heads. Or I could have had tails and tails. So we've got all the ones that start with heads, and then we find all the ones which start with tails. So it could be tails, and then we could use these combinations again. So it could be tails with heads, heads, or it could be tails with heads, tails, or it could be tails with tails, heads, or it could be tails with tails, tails. And that way, We've got a really nice order to how we listed these possible sequences of throws and it also ensures that we're not going to leave any possibilities out.